Well, welcome residents of Anne Arundel County. My name's Matt Johnston. I'm the Environmental Policy Director for County Executive Stuart Pittman. And I am joined here today with Apostle Thomas of the Empowering Believers Church right here in beautiful Glen Burnie. And we're here today because we're here to share County Executive Pittman's uh, beautiful vision for new green spaces in every community across Anne Arundel County. And we're flanked around us here today by a beautiful green space that Apostle Thomas helped to bring to his community. So Apostle Thomas, can you tell us how important this new plan is to you and your community and to all the communities that you serve? You ask the right question. What do I think and why did we get such a plan? We knew that some years ago in our wonderful county that there was a road built on this side, on the East Howard, and then there was a road built on the other side, which is Spencer Road. And it allowed us, our property, to become what they call a bowl. Whenever there was rain, many times on our property, I could find water that could reach up to around my um, calves or up, even up to my knees. So when I began to think about an opportunity to build rain gardens here at the Empowering Believers Church, I would say this is a lifesaver. I say I feel like Noah coming out of the ark and all the water now subsided. <laughs> this is how now we feel here because of the rain garden. And I just want to encourage, you know, with the plan that our county executive have, just the residents to utilize this plan to make an improvement to their wonderful properties. Thank you so much, Apostle Thomas. And that's a great story to share that this creation behind us, this new green space that you helped bring in, um, that it not only brought beauty to this, to this community, it brought habitat for the butterflies and bees that I see, but it also is making sure that the water isn't up to our knees whenever it rains. So that's the kind of stuff that we want to bring forward, the county executive envisions bringing forward to all the communities, but we can't do it without your input. We want to know what kind of green spaces you want to see in your communities and what kind of resources help you need. So we need you to comment on this draft plan. Now, one of the things that I wanted to make clear that you and I were talking about before is maybe not everybody does have access to the Internet. That's true. So what was one of the things that you said, Apostle Thomas, that you could do here and even at the libraries and elsewhere? Well, we can always make our church out available for our community. Because we want to be known as a place where you can come to be empowered. So we will offer opportunities for residents to come here. And I like what you were saying earlier while you were thinking, I use the terminology from the United Black Courage, solid no more. Having access to go on to a computer, you don't have to remain solid anymore. You're gonna be able to use that as a tool to say that you have a voice. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that offer. So um, here at Empowering Believers Church, you can come in and use their computer to submit your comments. Um, and you can also do it at any library. And Apostle Thomas, we're here today to invite residents to comment on this new plan to expand green spaces into every community. Without those comments, the plan is just a plan. We need your input. So one of the things that the county executive and his team have done is set up an entire website where you can look at the plan, submit your comments, and even look at a map. And you can point and click on the map and say, hey, you know what? I really would like to add some green space right here next to my house, next to my church, next to my business. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna try to do this morning. Amen. All right, let's yeah. see what we can get ourselves into. So the first thing that you should do is go ahead and go into Google or your preferred search engine. All that you need to do is type in Anne Arundel County Green Infrastructure into the search bar. The very first result that will come up will give you a link to our website. And that link will take you to a website that has the plan, it has the map okay. and it has a survey. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. where you can submit your comments. Mm -hmm. um, so let's dig into how you submit your comments. All right, sir. Once you're on the website, mm -hmm. you can click on a, a simple link here that says provide your comments via survey. So that's what we're going to do right now. And you'll get this screen that asks you for a few, a little bit of information about yourself, like your name, your email, where you live, things like that. Mm -hmm. And you'll also have a link here to click on the actual plan. Okay. Now we're not gonna click on the plan today. This is a short video, but please, I encourage you to click on the plan. The introduction is, is, is a broad overview of the types of green spaces we'd like to introduce to the county. And then at the end of the plan, there's a whole list of strategies, you know, outreach, um, financial strategies, okay. how we will actually implement the, the plan. So I'd encourage you to pay attention to those sections, the introduction and the strategies. But Apostle Thomas, you and I were talking earlier, you already have some comments, some ideas on this plan. So did you want to show us, um, you want to walk us through commenting on the plan? All right, and now here's the business part of it. Mm -hmm. Please use the next text box mm -hmm. to provide feedback about the draft green infrastructure plan. So what are we missing, Apostle Thomas? Well, the thing that is missing is questions. What do I ask for? Because looking at the plan, I am still not sure what is needed, what are the resources that are needed. So I would ask, what uh, see, I'm a one finger person. The <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We're available the one, two, ten finger people. <laughs> what are the resources? I think I did well, the RC that is needed. So what are the resources that are needed if you are interested in adding green spaces to your community? Um, the plan does list out the types of green spaces we want, but you're right, Apostle Thomas, it does not yet list out um, all of the resources that the county and the federal and state government could provide to communities or a list of contact information mm -hmm. of folks like myself that yes. you could reach out to. Yes. So great comment. That's the kind of feedback that we need to really make this plan sing. Well, thank you, sir. And we'll skip over all the rest of the information for now, and we will go to the next portion mm -hmm. of the website. Now, this is, is my favorite portion. Okay. Um, this is a map. You can click on the Green Infrastructure Network map mm -hmm. and you'll be taken to a new website that you can comment on the actual map itself. Mm -hmm. And what the map is, is, is it's a map of three different shades. Okay. We've got the gray areas, okay. which do not yet have green infrastructure in them. Wow. We've got the dark green areas, mm -hmm. which are green infrastructure, you know, forests, large floodplains that have been conserved, that are that are in uh, 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 preservation right now. Okay. And then we've got light green areas that are, that we think are green infrastructure, forests, floodplains, things like that that could be conserved okay. that aren't yet. But what we don't have is we don't have residents, community leaders who have added to this map and said, hey. I would like a neighborhood park here. Mm -hmm. I would like a community garden, mm -hmm. a rain garden. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna zoom in right here. Yes, find out where I am. All right, let's find out where you are in a powering, Empowering Believers Church, right? Yes, sir. In Glen Burnie, Maryland. Okay. Bear with us folks as we zoom right into our location. Cause I think we were just back here. So is this our block right here? This this the boulevard. Yes, this is East Howard Road. Uh huh. There we are, empowering believers. There we are. And guess what? We're in a desert. Oh. Because if we're supposed to be in the green, we are surrounded by a lot of green. And we see that in a lot of our urban communities. And so we need uh, community le leaders and residents to say. I'm in that gray area and I want green spaces here. So Apostle Thomas, you had some ideas about the types of green spaces. 
um, and you need some assistance yes, for how sir. to make it happen. Well, you are saying the right words, Matt. Needing assistance because in the community, especially the un, uh, underserved community, questions about what to ask for is always going to be on the lips of many people because they don't know what to ask for. But when I look out my window of the church or around me, when I take a walk, I see on one side of me, there's some trees. On the other side, there may be some trees. But how can that area become a park instead of one day, there will be um, hundreds of homes on this property? So how do I preserve such a space? What a great question. So how can we preserve the spaces that are in forests around the Empowering Believers Church and maybe make it a parkland for the whole community. Amen. And Apostle Thomas, you can press submit comment. All right. Right on the screen there. Let me go to here. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, is there not a cause? The cause is that we need green infrastructure. The cause is we need you. So I'm pressing the button now. <laughs> and now we get to actually click on the map. Mm -hmm. So is this around the right area right there? Yes, sir. Okay. So it's given us an address. Okay. And now we get to provide some details. So it's asking for the feedback type. And we can select this and say, um, add it. You want to add the, an idea for green infrastructure right here. Yes, sir. And then you can put in your comment. My comment. Well, again, my comment, can I get your assistance? Absolutely. Time? So it could go a little further. My comment is um, now that we have properties around us that can be preserved, then who should I get in contact with? What are the resources? What are the funding availability? And then who will lead us to make sure that our voice is going to be heard. Remember I said earlier, solid no more. What a great question. And that comment, just like all of your comments, mm -hmm. will go straight to our team in the County Executive's Office mm -hmm. and our Office of Planning and Zoning. Mm -hmm. They will take your comments mm -hmm. up until September 26th. Okay. Um, you can provide them online. You can even email me. We'll provide an email link mm -hmm. in the in the description of this video. And we hope that you will comment so that we can spread green spaces across Anne Arundel County. And remember, we need green spaces. With the vision that our county executive have and his team, we think it's a great vision. But now we just need you to be able to go like I had, press that button, submit and we can make things happen. Well, thank you very much, Apostle Thomas, for the time. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Thank you. Grace and peace.